Let's see flowchart of selection sort. Keep remember the if condition that we have used to solve the array. First we will start by reading the array and also reading its length. We will also see how we can read the array and find out its length without giving the hard code value. After that, as we have seen previously, we will start the array from index 0. So on the outer loop, we will start the iteration from 0 and we will traverse the array till it reaches to the last index. If the condition i is less than n minus 1 because we don't need to check the last index, so we will read the array till n minus 1. As the condition is true, so we will set the minimum index equal to 1 as we have seen previously. Now when this condition gets solved, it means the array has already been sorted, so we will just display this array. After that, we have to iterate for the if condition, in which we will check the current minimum and the current item. For that, we need to start the inner loop from i plus 1, because we don't need to check the same index twice. And we will read the inner loop till the last index, because we have to check all the indexes to find the minimum element. When this statement is true, we will run the condition that if the current item is less than the current minimum, we will update the minimum index. After that, we will jump to the next index. When the statement gets false, it means that we have found the minimum index in the iteration and after that, we will swap the value with the ith index. After that, we will increment in the outer loop and it goes back to the condition. Same thing happen until the outer loop condition does not get false. After that we have the sorted array at the last.